Welcome to Slaying Excel Dragons, video number 10. Hey, we're still in chapter 4, and we're going to cover these topics. Oh, just style. Oh, style is so important. Table style and cell style. And this certainly will help us when we're printing or formatting reports. All right, let's go over to our Excel file. Here is our Excel start file. You can download that from the link directly below the video. We are on the sheet styles one. All right, a couple videos ago we talked about table format structure and the Excel table feature. Well, certainly when we invoke the Excel table feature, it gave us format. So we'll just look at that briefly here. We have to remind ourselves though, data, a data set has to be set up in a certain way if we're to use Excel to its fullest potential. Field names in the first row, so total sales, units, product, that means whatever the field name is, that's what goes in this column. Records are in rows, so individual transactions or individual customers or uh, employee records. I always like to add a little bit of uh, formatting to the first row, which is our field name. So I'm going to bold. And the reason why is when you create a table or use the table style, if you have a word here and words here, it can't really, Excel can't really tell the difference between a field and a piece, a piece of raw data. And so I always, even if I'm going to use the, the style here, the table style, I like to add bold just so there's no confusion. Now, you could simply highlight, go up to the home, and go up to format as table. But look what it does. As soon as you do that, it opens up this format as a table, which we saw back in a couple videos ago when we did table format structure. So what I like to do is, well, in in this regard, if you already know you want a certain style, then why not just do it this way? If you don't, I like to just control T. Now I want you to notice something. How many cells did I have selected before I either control T or picked a style? Just one. Very important. If you highlight just a few, it'll try to format just that single few cells as a table. All right, so I'm going to there's not very many here I like. You could actually create a new style, and I'm not going to go into that in this book, but it's if you click it, it's not that hard to figure out. It asks you, you know, what do you want the field names to be? What do you want the col the rows to be? I'm going to select this one and then click OK. All right, now you can go up and select whichever one you want, and it's just a convenient way to uh, add formatting. We actually could, uh, it's not in the book, let's do new table style. Uh, I'm going to give it a name, call it rad style. Actually, no, I'm not going to call it, I'm going to call it a blue header. Now, let's see, header row, I'm going to, okay, so we have a name. These are the elements, and you just click on whatever element you want, and click Format, and then OK. I'm going to say Header Row, Format. I'm going to go to Fill, Dark. Remember, if it's a dark value, you got to do a light value for font. I'm going to say White. Border. I'm going to say, uh, now I want it everywhere, so I'm going to click uh, Outline and inside. That's just a quick way to put it everywhere. Click OK. You can see a preview here. I'm going to say whole table format and the only thing I'm going to add to the whole table is borders. Click OK. Now that's probably what I would do. I kind of like it minimal but let's just do one other uh, first row stripe. That'll be like the every other stripe. No, no, let's do second row stripe. So so every other one format. Uh, actually, we don't need to do that. Um, but I'm going to keep that there and then fill. I'm going to do a really light. This is a light value, so I'm not going to go over and change the font, which is the default black. So I'm going to click OK. And now you can see zoom, zoom, zoom. 
There we go. Okay. Now I can come up here. Aha, look at that. Right at the top, there is my table. So that's custom styles. All right, the other thing, so we did table, table style, and uh, a custom table style, even though that's not in the book. Let's go over and look at cell styles. I actually really like cell styles. Now here's what I usually do. I have a report, 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 and I always like to center across selection and add some color and an outside border and some uh, font color. Now I usually do this over and over and over, but I can just build a style and then just apply it as many times as I want. So watch this. I'm going to highlight the way you do cell styles, a custom one, is you, you apply all the style you want have it highlighted and then go up to cell style um, add new. So you ready? Control 1, format cells. Alignment, center across selection instead of merge and center. I'm going to wrap text by default which won't hurt if there's a single line but if there's too much text it will automatically add two uh, lines to the one row. Go over to font, I'm going to select white border, I'm going to say outline because this is center across selection, so I only need it on the outside. Fill, I'm going to say dark. Click OK. All right, now with all that formatting done, I'm going to come over to cell styles, new cell style. I'm going to call this blue center. Uh, and that's it just that because it's going to pick it up from here and then click OK. Now watch this. Notice it's the same number of cells so I'm going to highlight the same number of cells although that is not necessary. I'll show you just a moment how to do different size cells. I'm going to go up to cell styles and there it is blue center just like that. Not only that but watch this because we had a number of highlighted cells and we did the outside border and everything it didn't actually count the cells it's just whatever the selected cells are that style will be applied and just like that. So that's a convenient way you know and I, I like to have it for the center across um, the, the the label at the top, but lots of people do cell styles for the bottom line, like maybe they have the borders and they have a color, you know, green or something like that. All right, uh, style, we saw cell styles and table styles. That, that's it for chapter four. We do want to look at our homework. We've had, uh, what, three videos, I think, here in chapter four. Let's go over to our homework file. This is Slaying Excel Dragons homework chapter 1 to 9. Homework problems, if you're taking a class, if you're just practicing at home, these are great practice problems. So um, this is the entire chapter 4. There's three problems. Chapter 19, I mean uh, homework problem 19, answer. 20, answer. And 21, and answer. All right, we'll see you next video. Ah, next video we start chapter 5, formula. See you then.